Hey everybody, I'm Mr. Terry, a high school history teacher. Welcome back to another History Teacher Reacts video. All right, I'm excited because today I get to check out a channel I have never watched before. And the channel name is Jay Foreman. And the series, though, is called Map Men. Now, this has been uh, recommended to me, and it looks like the videos are quite popular. Um, I mean, he's got, uh, there's over a million subscribers, and these videos, and the, like, over a million and only a year and a half, you know? This is pretty impressive, so this kind of stuff I love. I love to see stuff I've been missing out on that people, like a lot of people, are already getting involved in. So I'm excited to check this out. Now, I, uh, when I heard about this channel and heard that I should do it and thought, okay, I'll do it, I I put up uh, a couple options of the videos into Patreon for this week's patrons pick poll. And the one that the patrons wanted to uh, see is where is America? Okay, it's kind of interesting. Sounds like it could be a lot of different directions there, but I'm uh, more than happy to give you my thoughts. I'll tell you what I think from my studies and as a teacher and all that. Um, but yes, we're going to check this out in just a second. Now, the original video link is down below. Um, they gave the total thumbs up permission to uh, do the reaction, so I want to make sure that we're supporting them. And if you like what's going on here, I'd love to have you as a sub as well, and definitely click that like button. I've been told that helps. My channel can get hidden a lot because sometimes I cover things that the algorithm doesn't like real much uh, a whole lot and it's kind of burying my channel right now so anything you can do to help it would be appreciated but nevertheless thank you for being here let's get started America America America. 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 Mer America. America. Americans. Americano. Mer American. Americano. America round. Amerigo Vespucci. An Italian. Welcome to Map Men. We're the men, and here's the map. The United States of America is a five word country. States united the and of are all self explanatory. It's too long. But the America part makes a lot less sense than you might think. As we all know, it's too long. We we got to change it up. USA can just be a one word. United States of America. I have an idea of where this is going. Is it going to be one of those things where? Oh no! Is it going to be one of those things where since we call it America, it's wrong because other countries do that? Okay, I don't want to jump ahead of myself though. I hope it's not that argument though. I hate that argument. America was discovered by Christopher Columbus in 1492. And discovered is the right uh, word because there definitely weren't people living there already. Right. And it was definitely him who discovered it, not the Chinese in 1421 or the Vikings around the... Very debatable. That's pretty fringe, the whole 1421 thing. I know that's been... There's books about it and stuff that the Chinese might have come across. I know that's extremely debatable, though, but we, don't, we all know the Vikings. Though. Year 1000. The China theory is heavily debated. And it was yeah, definitely okay. the yeah, United yeah, yeah. States of America he discovered. Um, nevertheless, really interesting. Check out, there's a book called 1421. It's like, I think it's called... 1421 the year that china discovered the americas and i think it's in relation to the Zheng he um one of the greatest you know explorers that doesn't get talked about in the west that it, maybe it was Zheng he maybe they were talking about someone else probably from the um, early ming dynasty that may have come across the americas but nevertheless it's an interesting um hypothesis that's worth checking out though in 1492 not some caribbean islands good to be clear but although Columbus had reached a new world, he never reached the realization he'd reached it. He'd set out in search right. of an alternative yeah. route to the spot in the Asia. East Indies and wrongly thought he'd found one. Sure. And so he named the Caribbean islands the West Indies because he'd sailed west to find them. Which is weird because if he thought about it and he had actually gone around the world and hit the East Indies, he'd have hit them on the east side. So he probably should have called them the East East Indies. So if he Dude. had been right, the West Indies would today be on the eastern side of the Indies, which True. is ridiculous. True. West, yeah, West Indies doesn't make sense by any definition. Okay, it went west, but you wouldn't call it that no matter what. It would be the East Indies. Now, of course, Christopher Columbus thought he had hit somewhere off the coast of Asia. He had no reference. I mean, they, they had no documentation of the Americas and all this stuff. Thought he was somewhere, you know, maybe uh, east of, of Japan or something like that. Goes to his death thinking that. And, and, and he gets a lot of crap for that, but justifiably so, because the full exploration of all this stuff, of course, didn't happen um, till till after him. Now, remember, too, that he thought he was in Asia, too, because his big hypothesis, 
this or thing that he was going off of was the earth is way smaller than most people think. Um, he thought everyone would thought the earth was way too big and that by sailing west, it actually wouldn't take very long. So he had every inclination, even though his mathematics were wrong and everybody told him he was wrong about the size of the earth. So I got lucky even hit land. Otherwise, they would never have survived the trip. But that's why, especially why he thought he was somewhere in Asia. But Columbus wasn't the only European who'd had a 15th century midlife crisis that involved buying a massive boat and sailing west until he came come to terms with his own mortality. Just one year after Columbus first reached the South American mainland, Italian explorer Amerigo Vespucci <laughs> got their second. Amerigo. But the crucial difference between Vespucci and Chris, as people in the voyaging business referred to him, is Vespucci did know he'd reached a brand new continent, and word soon spread of an exciting new world. See, and this would have been because uh, Vespucci, like everyone else in the world, knew the Earth was way bigger and it could not have been Asia, right? Because they know Asia doesn't go thousands of miles more east than they thought. So it makes a lot more sense. But again, to, to based off of what Columbus was, you know, what he was going off of, of course, was wrong. It made sense. But okay, wait, town crier, are we telling, are we telling the regular people? <laughs> All right, I need to start getting out of the public for my videos, too. I got to start doing I have ideas. Stay with me, but uh, it just got to get to them. Found the world set to work, creating new and up-to-date world maps, each with their own dreadful renderings of the increasingly, but still not very, discovered continent. Sure. One of these map makers was a German called Martin Walzi Müller, who in 1507 had all but finished his magnificent new world map. Except for one small <laughs> With crayons. What to name the new... Okay, we all say it, though. Crayons. Crayon, C R A N S. Does anyone actually ever say crayon? You know, or anything with two syllables? Crayons. Continent everyone was talking about. He very likely would have named it Columbia after the widely agreed discoverer of the new world, Columbus. But Amerigo Vespucci had Makes some sense. very clever PR people who were falsifying yeah. documents and spreading lies about exactly when he'd reached the new world. And it's so true though, because like everyone remembers C Columbus. So you'd think that it would be called Columbia or something from the European perspective. Vespucci, like no one knows about Amerigo Vespucci. Like even you might have heard that right there and been like, I didn't even know. But yeah, that's to America, whatever, how you, however you want to define America, is going to be named after that guy, but is one of the least understood of the major explorers that you hear about. These lies must have reached the ears of Martin Valtzimuller. You're listening to the okay. Hour well, he would have known about Columbus, right? <laughs> because he made the they put a lot of work into this. This is awesome. I love this. America. Latin for Amerigo. Valti Muller published his map complete with an unnecessarily long Latin title. Complete map following of Ptolemy, the tradition, and of Amerigo Vespucci, of others, also the illustration. Makes sense. Because that looks, yeah, this right here, this, this like, uh, representation or um, however, you, however you want to call it of the earth is uh, very much like if you, if you look at Ptolemy, again, you're going back to like ancient Alexandria for this one. Um, it looks like this. And that was the standard model of that. They knew the earth was round, but of course the continents and stuff look different. But you can see how off they were on um, the Americas in general. I mean, South America is still, it, the proportions are weird. And then of course, North America is, is totally off. And it's the very East part. I mean, based off of this, I don't know how, if you're right, if you're doing a map where you don't know exactly how large something is or whatever do you try to indicate something to say that you don't know so like um over here if you can see my mouse i'm in the top left like you pretty much you have what i'm gonna assume is appalachian mountains and did they actually think that the ocean was right on the other side or was this part just unknown territory you know what i mean i don't know exactly how ancient cartographers worked with that kind of information but I mean, if it's just the world so far that they think, you know, so be it. You could also see this is after da Gama um, and Bartolomeo Diaz, for sure, uh, because Africa looks really good, actually, um, especially the southern point, because um, it was not very long uh, before uh, before um, um, da Gama. Uh, he was in the 1497 or whatever. Um, that he was the first European to sail around Africa, that's which really helped the map making. East Asia is still total. Actually, Asia itself is totally messed up. You have this like mysterious peninsula down here that doesn't look anything like the Malay Peninsula. India, you don't really have the southern tip of it very well, but like Arabia, you got that. They finally got the Horn of Africa right. Europe, of course, is very 
um, accurate because, I mean, it's a European map and they knew very well. But yeah, you can see just like Asia is still way messed up. But I mean, again, it's, it's like the 1400s. If you zoom into his map and look carefully, you can see the little word America in what we now call modern day Brazil. It was the first time that made up word had been used anywhere by anyone ever, ever. Nobody knows why Martin named it after Amerigo's fairly common first name rather than the Vespucci part. It's a bit like if I discovered okay. a continent and they named it Markland instead of the more enticing True. sounding Cooper World Jonesania. One part of the new world that Martin clearly didn't give much thought to was this bit up here, yeah. which he drew super small and super inaccurate. There's like no so Canada it either. So to learn the inhabitants of this area were the people who, centuries later, cared the most about this map. Fast forward 500 years to the... I mean, a lot of that, even with Canada, doesn't get really get, you know, going until they really start looking through the, the uh, St. Lawrence River and you're going to get like Henry Hudson and the people that did more of the exploration work up north because they were trying to find a, a passage to Asia by going north of the Americas because, you know, they figured out that the, the south, South America goes way, way down there, right? So there's still a lot of exploration to be done by the time. I mean, this map was still made in the 1400s, right? I mean... It did not. It was decades later before we really got a full understanding, even of, even just of the east coast of the Americas. The nineties. Hey. Throughout the nineties, the United States people. tried desperately to get their hands on Valdez Muller's map because it contained the first use of the word America. The U.S. considered it to be their birth certificate, not minding that it had actually been given to a different baby since they had no qualms about swapping babies, even though they were now grown adults. The At birth the time, Valtzi Müller's map was sitting in a drawer in the private collection of Prince Johannes zu Waldberg, Wolfeg und Walze in Germany. They wanted it so much, they paid $10 million for it, making Valtzi Müller's map by far the most expensive map in history. Whoa. In 2007, I mean, it's the important. map finally earned its wrongful place on there display in the United there, States there, Library of Congress. There it is. How a library was able to raise $10 million, we can only guess. So how come True. America got to name itself America? You'd think that writing the Latin word America on Latin America would mean America should describe Latin America. So why is non-Latin USA allowed its A at all? Part of the reason is that they achieved independence before any of the other 34 Very American true. countries. In 17 Yeah, most most um, most independence, if it ever comes, is it going to happen until the 1800s. So United States of America. But yeah, I still don't know. Actually, honestly, I don't know that much about that whole process of of Amer like United States of America. And I get the whole like United States part because that's how they refer to themselves as like this confederation pretty much. But the whole America part, I actually don't know a ton about. Um, I'm, I'm guessing they'll, they'll get into it. If they don't, let me know down in the comments. In 76, the 13 colonies that had been known as British, British America, America used their rifles to shotgun the name the United States of America. Over time, the long name the United States of America got right. shortened to just America, right. which is how the English-speaking world almost exclusively refers to the United States today. Yes. And as you might yes. And I, I think they're going to get to the thing I was saying I get so frustrated with is people that don't like saying like if someone says i'm an american that that is like a non-descriptive term that usually comes from spanish speaking um areas and that's because of just the vocabulary there's a separate word for american and being a person of the united states of america there's two different there's different words with that in spanish we don't have that in the united states so when someone says hey i'm an american that's what they mean is a, a united states of america and there is no term like, there is no term in the English language that refers to, like, a one-word term that refers to everybody in the Western Hemisphere of North or South America. There, there just, there isn't. There is no term for that. You could say, I'm from the Americas, but you'd have to say that, like, I'm from the Americas, because usually referred to as North and South America as different places. But uh, saying, I am an American, is the only way to say that in English, without saying... I am a civilian of the United States of America. It's it's totally annoying because people will bring that up all the time because we use that term. And again, that's how the whole world refers to as people of the United States of America as Americans. It, I mean, it's not an exclusionary term, which again, I hear a lot of people say. You might expect, or if you're an American, as you might never have given any thought to, this annoys a lot of people. Yes. Whom does it annoy? First, Latin I, I get this all the time in comments. And I, I just, I hope I never have to say it again. I hope all those people are watching this and they were drawn to this, okay? So, okay, I'm thinking they, they're going to get this. Dude, empanadas are so good. I could go for some empanadas. Delicious. America. In the Spanish-speaking world, the word America on its own always refers to the entire continent and never the country, which they call... Los there you Estados go. Unidos. They yes, Estados Unidos, that's the United States, and Estadounidense, like a, a, a person from the United States, right? That's a word. Again, words that don't exist in English, and I hope 
uh, uh, Spanish speaking uh, people that speak Spanish speaking first understand that. Even set up a petition demanding Los Estados stop stealing their name and get a new one right now. With 308 yeah, signatures, it's surely only a matter of time before America concedes. Oh my Second, God. Canada. Canadians resent the USA arrogantly naming itself after their shared continent, but not as much as they resent being mistaken for Americans by people who can't tell their accents apart and confuse them. But with again, that was not the intention. Spray can. Third, British people. Couldn't they just keep calling it British America? No. It's such a nice ring to it. Of course not. <laughs> if you're British. Because the original name, British America. Fourth, Chris Columbus. If the Americans do insist on naming their continent after a European explorer, Columbus, lest we forget, was actually there before Amerigo Vespucci. As it is, Columbus had to settle for the US capital, a province of Canada, another country, countless other towns and cities <laughs> on a national holiday. Poor guy. There's and lastly, lot. Amerigo Vespucci himself, who died never knowing these new lands were to bear his name in so many confused... Let's go through them all. We got Disneyland. Wait, America. That was the America part coming to the Disneyland stuff. Can America, Kraft Singles, American Cheese, American Idol, American Mustard. I don't really know it was called American Mustard, though. Using and Whatever. overlapping ways. So if the United States of Americans did want to change their name, what on earth could they change it to? Any attempt at a rebrand would come with its own controversy. And wait, 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 wait. These could be funny. What on earth could they change it to? Any attempt at a rebrand would come with its own controversy. And North Mexico, Hot Canada, the Republic Kingdom, United States of Columbus. No, we already said if we're going to change a name, it's got to be because it's short. The 50, Appalachia. No, it's only a specific region. Greater New England, New York. Big, big country. Freedonia. Okay, I'm down with that. Worse, worse Britain. Yeah, this, see, this is made by Brits. Yeah, I got to already tell. This was made by Brits. Chad, too. And of course, it's hard to imagine patriotic Americans ever. Vespuccio. I mean, it kind of makes more sense. Uh, well, Vespucci, he never went to what the United States is going to be, so he can't do that. Atlantica. That's actually okay. Our Graham, Law and Order, Republic of Rodeo, Pacifica. I guess it can't be Atlantica now that the United States stretches from the Atlantic to the Pacific, so it doesn't work. Crazy World of Arthur Brown, Woking. Butter Dish. United States of Subpar Railways, voting to be made by the else. USSR, North of America, Copper World, Jones Mania, Turtle Island, Bradley Walsh, Lincoln Land. You know, if we go retroactively and change it just based off later politicians. Incarcerators. <laughs> Chad 3, Man of Destiny Manifested. Even though Have it a nice day. What was the last one? Of course, it's hard to imagine patriotic Americans ever actually voting to be called anything else. Land of the Rising Gun. <laughs> I, th I think we should just be called America. America. It's like it's close enough. And when you hear someone say America, they, they know exactly what you're talking about. United States of America. It, you probably just think it's Texas, but whatever. Even though it appears that the U.S. Library of Congress spent $10 million on a map that suggests its country gave itself the wrong name, it looks like the USA of America will go on calling itself America for many years to come. Classic America. Oh, hi. I didn't Hello? notice you there. You just caught me buying some electrical tape online. Hey. That's right. You can even use the internet to do your shopping these days. And if you're anything Hashtag like ad. me, you'll hate to pay full price, which is why I, got you. I love to use discount vouchers. Discount vouchers? I like discount vouchers. Discount vouchers. What to you give got? you money off your shopping. Money off your shopping? They do so much better than my ads. But who has the time to... This, this is what being a real filmmaker looks like and world not world an amateur teacher that just tries to get it done. Century. But it's trying hard, Certainly okay? Certainly not me. Certainly not you. Shut up. But now you don't have to, thanks to Honey. Honey, the brown... Oh, it's Honey? Stuff. Okay. Yes, but I'm going to say it. Honey, the No lie, I like Honey, actually. I've never been it. sponsored by them, but I actually use it. It's actually Honey, useful. Honey, the browser extension. All you have to do All is, you have to do is go to joinhoney.com slash mapmen to add honey to whatever browser you're using in just two easy I'll clicks. Promote a use their code. Shopping on any of its more than 30,000 supported sites, simply click apply coupons and get money off. It really is that simple, and you can do it right now for absolutely free. It's simple. If you have a computer, there's no reason it shouldn't have honey on it. And I don't mean runny honey. Com computers hate that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about this. I got something to say. I'm going to reiterate it and then let me know what you think. Okay, I'm so glad this topic came up because it is an annoying one that I know I've responded to for now over two, uh, the two years my channel's been around about this whole idea of with America. And I hope, if anything, it let the people that, again, don't like that term America. I, I'm not sure if, if you guys understand why 
that is. And I, I, and I know it's easy to say it's like this American um, uh, like arrogance to it, but like in in just you know in in, in language, right? In the English language, when you, again you say America, that has never ever been something to think of like both continents together. That's not that's not a concept. Like that's not a concept. I don't think it's even a very good descriptive concept in any way because there's multiple continents. Okay, you have like Eurasia. But I mean, maybe that has that has more like defining characteristics. But that was a way to um, to to bundle up all those together. So are we saying you know, North America and South America really are like uh, like connected? There's so much more differences than there are connections. But it goes back to the whole name of the country, right? The United States of America. That's the only term. Americans. You're gonna stay United States of Americans. Right. It's inefficient. It just it doesn't work. And the whole world refers to, you know, Americans from the United States of America as as that. They're not going to say people of the United States of America. So I promise it doesn't come from some state of ignorance. If you are uh, um, of arrogance, I should say, um, it's just not as and it's more than anything. It's a language difference. Right. Especially between Spanish and English. Um, but yeah, that's that's just the big thing and why it's going to be called or why it's called that. So hopefully you understand and we can move on from that pointless conversation and move on to uh, more important things. Right. Like history and education and all that stuff. Anyway, this was awesome. I'm loving this. I definitely want to get into the series. I'll try to find again the more kind of popular episodes and, and of course subscribe and everything and see what the new stuff is because I saw some of the other topics look like they'll be really, really interesting and as well. And if you have any suggestions for Matt Men, um, let me know. You can put down the comments you want. Best thing to do is actually come over and join our Discord community. So it's a lot of fun. So join Discord. If you don't know what Discord is, it's basically a, a message board kind of service that borders more on the line almost of chat rooms. But they're a lot of fun. It's free. You can download it. And that's the best way to actually suggest videos because the video suggestions channel in there is e easier for me to keep track of than to go through every single video that I have um, with that kind of thing. But you can join that. Uh, there'll be a link down below. Also, if you like gaming... I'm a retro gamer. I love that stuff. I play modern games too. Come over to my gaming channel, Mr. Terry Gaming on YouTube, or join on Twitch at Mr. Terry History. All right. And with that, again, original video link is down below. Make sure you support him. Thanks for staying if you've been here this long, and we'll see you next time. Bye.